If you just signed up for the Open and you feel really unprepared, this video will give you a good idea of what to expect, as well as three things to focus on in the weeks leading up to the 2021 CrossFit Open. Now we're less than three weeks away from the start of the 2021 CrossFit Open. And to be honest, I am super excited for this year. Uh, there's way more divisions and a lot more chances for people to compete and have fun in this thing. So I think that this year will be a blast. Each CrossFit affiliate is a little bit different, so I can't speak for your gym, but here's how things are gonna run at my gym. Now the workouts are announced at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday nights, and you have until the following Monday to complete the workout and submit your score on games.crossfit.com. This year, the Open is only three weeks long, which is a change that I really like. Uh, depending on your performance and how you place in the first three weeks of the Open will allow you to proceed on to the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and eventually for the top 1% in our sport, the CrossFit Games. At my gym, we split up the people who registered into teams, and each week, those people will have opportunities to earn points based on participation, performance, and some other fun games and challenges that we'll do throughout the three weeks. The Open's really just about pushing yourself, it's about challenging yourself, it's about doing something that you're not used to and breaking out of your comfort zone, and it's really just about having fun. So you signed up for the Open, you have a general idea of how things are gonna go. Let's talk about the three things that you should focus on over the next few weeks to make sure that you are the most prepared for 21.1. But first, if you're registered for the Open, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out a strategy video for the workouts every Friday morning that you're not gonna wanna miss. Now, the most important thing you can do right now is to just be consistent. While this is always something to strive for, over the next few weeks, it's really important to be consistent so that you feel the best during the Open. Don't overthink it, just show up, do the work. Try to find a pattern with your training and your life that will allow you to be rested and set up for success on the day that you choose to do the Open. Typically, most gyms will run the open workout in class the Friday following the announcement. So I would recommend every Thursday to take as a full rest day or an active recovery day. If you're traveling or you have a strange week, just make sure that you have a plan so that you can be consistent with your workouts. Now, the second thing, which is something that you should be focused on anyways, is nutrition. You don't wanna feel like crap, so don't eat like crap. Really dialing in your nutrition over the next few weeks will help you feel light, fit, and it'll help you perform at your best. Now, the easy way to make small changes with nutrition is keep it simple. Cook your meals at home, buy food from the edges of the grocery store, limit your consumption of alcohol, and throw out any junk food that's in your house. If it's around you, you'll be tempted to eat it. Now this is the time to make sure you're getting enough clean food to support your activity. This is not the time to try and cut a bunch of weight. The last thing we want is you starve for calories and struggling to recover from the workouts each week. Now my last suggestion for you to feel prepared for the Open is to try out some of the old workouts from previous years. I know at my gym and many others around the country do Open retest workouts from previous years on Fridays leading up to the Open. This will set your expectations and again, kind of put you into a consistent pattern for your workouts each week. CrossFit was nice enough to release a equipment list for this year, so we have a pretty good idea of the types of movements and what could come up. Although I'm recommending that you retest a couple open workouts just in case they come up this year, I am so thankful that it is only three weeks this year because hopefully we'll get three fresh, creative new workouts and no retests. I'll be honest, I'll be a little bit bummed if we do a retest this year. So that's what to expect and some of my recommendations on what to focus on over the next few weeks to be prepared for the 2021 Open. Comment below if it's your first time doing the Open. I'd love to know what you're most excited about this year. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.